if you're doing five a day in a standard month, that's about 25 videos a week. So a hundred a month, if you do 10 a day, that's 200 yeah. a month. Like that, you know, yeah. that adds up and you just do a little bit each day. And um, yeah, I don't know. Any other trends yeah. that you're seeing that other companies are picking up? I'm, I'm leaning on process. You're leaning on the creativity. Um, what else do you well, see? You asked me like, where is it going? And okay. I think that's you know some of the longer term, but I, I think um, I, I love I love 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 what you're what you're talking about here because um, what you're saying is one of the big things we're starting to see um, a lot of our you know larger enterprise customers doing as they're rolling out video tools to broader teams um, is that they are figuring out how to now make it a part a a more quote unquote formal part of the sales process with guidance and templates and reference examples for all of the different sales reps out there on at point, which points does it make sense to, you know, send, record and send a video? Um, what might that video look like? What are some guidelines for it? So that there is that recognition ongoing of like, okay, I can see how this fits into the, the cycle because traditionally they have like all these email templates that like on day this, you do this day, this, you do that. And then they have like their standard map down workflow of like, okay, after you send the proposal, then this happens, then this, but none of those include these videos, right? Well, and certification you too. Like um, I know I, a lot of companies will have a demo certification process and it's yeah. like, you can't do a demo for a potential client until you get certified. Right. And if, if your company is that strict on the company voice, I recommend doing a video certification process 